Hi friends, Allison here, dropping in to share some more creative inspiration with you for Scrapbook Nerd. I am sharing a layout with Cricut die cuts and I'm also using the Cartabella Fall Market collection. It is an older collection. I got it from the Scrapbook Nerd shop. I don't believe it's available anymore, but if you love Cartabella like I do, make sure you stop by the shop and look for other Cartabella and Echo Park collections because there is more in the shop there. So I die cut the word Utah. I found it in my Cricut library and I just cut it from white cardstock and I am going to be adhering it to different patterned papers from the fall market collection. So I chose four different patterned papers because there's four different letters. And I just used my Tombow Mono liquid glue to attach them to the pattern paper and then I fussy cut them all out and you can see me here fussy cutting the H out. I show the whole thing, I guess I don't necessarily need to, but um, there it is, <laughs> I'm doing the whole thing. And if you saw me kind of flex my fingers, I was having a hand cramp by that point cutting out all these letters, so I had to give the fingers a little bit of a break. and before finishing the cutting. So now all the letters are done. I will arrange them on the layout background. I'm just using some blue cardstock from my stash and I'm going to attach all the letters with foam squares to the layout base. So as the name suggests in the paper collection that I'm using, Fall Market, of course the paper is fall themed. So when I was choosing the pattern papers to mount the letters to. I looked for papers that would work for a summer themed layout. Um, we went to Provo in July. So fall papers could have worked, but I didn't really want to use that because it didn't fit the whole summer vibe. So that's why I chose those pattern papers. I just added my photo to some tissue paper that I actually found in my box of mandarin oranges. It was pristine. So I took it out of there and figured I could use it in my crafting. So that's where the tissue paper came from. I see lots of other people oh, around the internet and on YouTube using tissue paper and I wanted to give it a go myself and I absolutely love the way it looks. I'm converted. <laughs> It's so nice to have another layer there that is just barely there, but it's there. It's really nice anyways. And then I um, adhered some blue cardstock behind that as well. If you saw me hold it over the blue base, I was just trying to figure out what side of the cardstock I wanted to use because it's a dual cardstock. So one side is a bit darker and then the flip side is lighter. I decided to go with a lighter just to create a little bit of contrast between the blues. I decided to add a frame around my picture as well just to draw more attention to it. We took an Uber from the airport in Salt Lake City to our hotel in Provo and we had a van because there was six or seven of us riding together and uh, so this was everybody minus one of uh, our group at least in our uber. I found these super cute flowers on Cricut as well. They are actually um, some sort of lilies that grow in Utah. I don't know the name of them but they were pretty and it worked with the Utah theme <laughs> so I threw it in there. And now I'm going through the ephemera pack that coordinates with the um, the fall market collection. I had seen a round circle ephemera piece in there that I thought was so super cute and would work where I put the pink fresh studio flare but it was way too big I could have trimmed it down but I didn't really want to do that <laughs> I thought I would save it so I put that aside and pink fresh studio was on my desk anyway so I pulled out the um, my favorite story chipboard ephemera found a blue flare that would work with it and uh, I must not have done that just yet, but it is coming. And I put that where the title July is. 
I also added Provo to the top left hand corner of the layout. That's just what I was working on previously. And now I'm working on two little um, like subtitles uh, to go along with the title and then the Provo subtitle in the top left hand corner. The one is going to say has the dates that we were in Provo for. So that was July 9th to the 14th last year, so 2019. And the little um, phrase sticker, I guess if you want to call it that, the little phrase that I'm working on to go on the left-hand corner in the top is going to be um, new arrivals. And I'm just using a close to my heart stamp set alpha stamp set for that and close to my heart black ink as well. So I just showed you the finished um, stamped subtitles and I'm putting them where I think they're going to live. I'm pretty happy with where they're at right now. And uh, after that I have some a little bit of embellishing and the journaling to add which I'll be writing onto little strips of white cardstock. And that pretty well finishes up my layout. I'm just adding some hearts that I cut from or with my Cricut from cardstock. I'm just kind of sprinkling them around the page. And then at the very, very end, I kind of felt like my layout was a little bit flat, like it needed something to frame the whole thing. So I actually trimmed down a quarter inch on two sides and then matted it to white cardstock just to give it a little bit of a border. And I think it really kind of finishes the whole thing off. I like that it ties a bit more white or brings a bit more white into the layout with the border because all the letters are outlined in white. I don't know, I just thought it looked better. So right now I'm just adhering the journaling. I glued part of it and then I'm using foam squares for the other end of it just to keep it all one, um, the same height. And then I'll finish adding the rest of the hearts that I had die cut. And then you'll sit me, see me sit here for a second trying to figure out whether I should mat it to white cardstock. Oh, I guess I'm gonna add some thread too. I forgot about that. So I do add some thread to sewing thread to a couple of places around the layout, nothing too crazy. And like I said, this layout is pretty well done. I do have close ups coming up if you want to stick around for that. I will link the products that I used in today's layout down below. And like I said earlier, do make sure you head over to the scrapbook nerd shop and ah. Uh, Check out the Cartabella and the Echo Park goodies. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like and say hi and let me know that you swung by. I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.